so our topic of discussion is that if we insert a dielectric slab between the plates of a capacitor and the plates are kept connected to a battery then what happens to the field inside the dielectric now we have this situation that suppose these are the plates of the capacitor and they are connected with the battery having potential difference v naught and c naught is this capacitance and the sigma naught is the surface charge density on these plates and this is the electric field between the plates it is the initial initial situation that is given now first look that how the quantities are affected as soon as we insert a dielectric slab between the plates so this is the battery that has been kept connected with the plates now as soon as we insert a dielectric slab and this is the dielectric slab that has been inserted between the plates of the capacitor so this is the dielectric slab now suppose it has a dielectric constant k dielectric constant k now what happens to the capacitance now the new capacitance is suppose it is c dash and the new capacitance is k times c naught capacitance always increases now what happens to the new charge on the plates that is q dash and it is also k times the initial charge now why this is so we know that q is equal to c v now using this term q dash is the new charge c dash is the new capacitance and v naught that is the potential drop now c dash is k times k times c naught v naught and this c naught v naught is what q naught so charge increases by k times so here we have q dash and as charge has increased by k times so obviously the surface charge density the new surface charge density is also k times the initial charge density it is k times the initial charge density now due to this increased increased charge density what happens is that the new electric field between the plates let me write it here new electric field between the plates now it's very important to consider this between the plates let it is e dash this is the new field between the plates this is equal to e dash this is the new field but due to this charge this is positive q dash here it is minus q dash we have induced surface charge densities here also on the edges of the dielectric slab and then due to this induced charges we have a field that is the induced field which is opposite to e dash now this e dash e dash is equal to sigma dash by epsilon naught it is equal to 
k times e naught means field has increased by k times in comparison to the initial situation and that has happened after the insertion of the dielectric slab now our next interest is to look for the induced field the induced field is equal to induced surface charge density by epsilon naught it is equal to sigma dash by epsilon naught 1 minus 1 by k now we know this result that sigma i dash is equal to this quantity or you can also write it as k times sigma naught divided by epsilon naught 1 minus 1 by k now this is the induced field and this is the field between the plates that is this is the new field now what is the net field what is the net field between the plates of the capacitor the net field the net field let the net field is e and from this figure it's clear that this e is equal to e dash minus e induced and if you put the values so e dash is simply k times e naught that is sigma naught by epsilon naught minus this quantity e induced so this is k sigma naught divided by epsilon naught 1 minus 1 by k so if you solve this you will get sigma naught by epsilon naught if you solve this this will get cancelled with this quantity and this k will get cancelled with this k in this situation and this minus and this minus will become plus and finally you will get sigma naught by epsilon naught and what is sigma naught by epsilon naught actually this is e naught this is e naught means the initial electric field so this result shows that there is no change in the field means or in the in other sense you can say that the field inside the dielectric field inside the dielectric will remain same it will remain same